are three quick scriptures that destroy Calvinism, and particularly the Calvinist doctrine of limited atonement, that Jesus Christ didn't die for everyone, he only died for his elect, um, heresy. Acts chapter 17, verse number 30. And at the times of this ignorance God winked at, but now commendeth all men everywhere to repent. So he wants all men to repent, everywhere, all men everywhere to repent. How does that work if Jesus Christ didn't die for everyone and God does not, ever, does not want everyone to be saved? He's commanding all men everywhere to repent. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 3 to 4. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of, our, uh, sight of God, our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. All men to be saved? Oh no, I, I think it was just he wanted his elect to be saved. He just wanted the elect. No, he wants all men to be saved. All men to come to the truth. Second Peter chapter 3 and verse number 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So three different verses, God is saying he wants all to repent. He doesn't want anyone to perish. How does that work if, if it's a limited atonement, if Jesus Christ didn't die for everyone? Like, you know, Calvinist cults like the Westboro Baptist Church or some of these other Calvinist cults will claim. It's funny how they call themselves Calvinists, yet they're basically their religion is named after a man, John Calvin. You know, the term Christian comes from basically being in Christ. So it's funny they call themselves Calvinists, which they're naming themselves after a man, which is a big problem. But three different verses, God says he wants all men to repent. He'll have all men to be saved. So it totally flies in the face of this Calvinist heresy of limited atonement. And just flies in the face of Calvinism in general. So don't be deceived by Calvinism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.